a journey that I've been sharing with all of you for the past six months comes to a close as I finally have completed my Metal Mutants Michelangelo. I wanna recap this entire process from start to finish, explain how I got where I am now with this figure that I decided was my number one goal for 2023. I definitely could not have done this without all of you, so join me on my journey to completing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Metal Mutants Michelangelo. What are these creatures that change in the night with metalized armor that sucks up the light? It's the Metal Mutant Turtles and the mythical spirits of Legendary Lion, Battle Brave Beetle, Demon Destroying Dragon, and Forbidding Phoenix, the mighty beast that become mystical armor. But what's this? Metal Mutant Shredder has discovered the mysterious armor himself and possesses the spirit of the tiger. So the ultimate battle begins. Only one side shall win. Metal Mutants from Playmates. So this journey started all the way back in February of this year. I was in Columbus, Ohio at Big Fun, one of the awesome toy stores I have visited this year. And while I was there, I actually found a Metal Mutants Donatello for a really good price. I ended up purchasing it that day. And upon bringing it home, I came to the realization that now that I had Donnie, the only figure I didn't have from the Metal Mutants lineup was Michelangelo. So I decided at that moment that this was gonna be the number one thing that I was gonna track down for my year of toy hunting. Of course, I proclaimed this in my toy hunting series, and at the time, I had no idea what type of a trajectory that was gonna send me on. So I had the opportunity to visit several different toy shows, conventions, and toy stores throughout the year. So I was pretty certain that I was gonna be able to accomplish my task of tracking down this figure. Now, I wouldn't say that the Metal Mutants figures are rare by any means, but because they come with so many pieces, they are harder to get complete. Those little armor pieces definitely got lost and scattered all around, especially for anybody who might have had these as kids. So it does make them tough to find down. Plus, with them being vac metalized and shiny, well, you don't always find the armor bits in good shape when you do come across them. So I knew it was going to be a bit of a challenge. But because I found that Donatello so easily, I figured it wouldn't be that difficult. But boy, I way underestimated that. One of the big shows I hit in spring was the Kane County Toy Show, or the Chicago Toy Show as it's also called. Uh, this is a show where I always find lots of stuff. And a show this big that always has so many different toy items, surely this was gonna be the place that I found my Metal Mutants Michelangelo. Well, I scoured those fairgrounds. I dug in every booth and I came up empty handed. So much so that at the very end of the day, I found the Metal Mutants Michelangelo figure by itself with no armor pieces. And as a consolation, almost out of spite, I went ahead and just bought that. Because then at least I had the figure alone, knowing that it was probably going to be impossible to find all of those armor bits. What I totally underestimated was the amazing generosity of you, my viewers. The generosity started when I visited my good friend Jerry. I was there specifically to photograph several of his Ninja Turtles collection pieces for a different project that I'm working on. And as we concluded the weekend of hanging out, talking turtles, having a good time, he gifted me some extra pieces that he had in his collection, which were the boots for the Metal Mutants Michelangelo. This was amazing, and all of a sudden, I had this little glimmer of hope. Maybe, just maybe, this is doable. Eventually, I came to Eternia Dreams, an amazing toy store. Uh, if you guys haven't already seen my toy hunt video, I'll definitely make sure I link all of the toy hunts uh, so that you guys can check them out in case you missed any of them. But at Eternia Dreams, I was there for a book signing, signing my book, The Toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. So I actually met a lot of viewers of my content that day, and one of them surprised me. Uh, he's a content creator himself over at Make Shape Create, and he gave me a baggie filled 
with Metal Mutants Michelangelo parts. Oh. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> Is that the right armor? It's the right armor. It's Metal Mutants Mikey. Oh, dude, this is incredible. All right, what's your what's your YouTube channel so make I can make sure create. people make shape create. This was absolutely amazing. I could not believe it. And when I got home, I popped all of those parts on my Mikey figure to see that I had now come a long way. I was only missing a handful of pieces, being the chest plate, one of the shoulder armor pieces, and of course the forearm armor. But man, we were getting closer and closer. And this is where things get even cooler because my viewers, gosh, you guys are absolutely amazing. Next up, I received a package at my PO box from a viewer by the name of Jason. He sent me a small gift. Now in this gift box, he actually gave me a few cool things. One of which being this Knights of the Slice figure, this Glios figure. I've actually never owned any of the Knights of the Slice figures before. He's a big fan and I thought it was really cool that he sort of hodgepodge together this wacky colored version to add to my collection. I love it. But I think more importantly, the reason he actually sent me this package is because he had one random piece of Metal Mutant Michelangelo's armor in his collection and he sent it to me. So because of this gift, I now have the chest armor. Holy cow, it's coming together. And that wasn't all. Because soon I received another package from one of my viewers by the name of Matt. And Matt sent me a little box filled with random Metal Mutant Michelangelo parts that he happened to have in his collection. Now with this random batch of parts, I did end up with a few doubles, but importantly, I was able to piece more of this figure together. I now had both of the shoulder armor pieces. In fact, one of them here was actually in better shape than what I had before, so I even replaced that to make it look a little bit nicer. And I've got one of the forearm armor bits, which is really amazing. Man, we are so incredibly close, I can't even believe it. Now that we're at this point, where we are just this close to completing it, suddenly Christina, my amazing wife, sees where we've come and she decides she wants to be the one that gets me the final pieces. So we began kind of scouring eBay together, which is always tricky, but with the help of some friends online and uh, in person who knew I was looking for these pieces, we got alerted to a couple of auctions and Christina ended up buying these for me. This gave me a few extra pieces once again, since they were just kind of random lots, but I was even able to kind of upgrade some of the pieces I already had. And most importantly, because of my amazing wife, I got that final piece, that final forearm armor and he's done. Oh my gosh, my friends, after all of this, Metal Mutants Michelangelo is fully armored up and ready to be displayed in my collection. Now there is a small, small caveat to this because I did notice while putting this together that the helmet is actually missing the little translucent red piece that fits on the inside that makes the eyes glow red. Um, but I'm gonna count it because the helmet is here and maybe at some point I can upgrade that helmet. But oh my gosh, my guys, look at this. Look at this, everybody. Metal Mutant's Michelangelo is built, he is all together, and now he can join the rest of the amazing Metal Mutants in my collection. I am so overwhelmed, I am so overjoyed, and that's not even the end of the story. Because as I am coming to the end of this entire build, I suddenly get another package. And this one comes from my good friends over at Otaku America. Uh, I have met them and befriended them. They're always set up at the Kane County Toy Show every year. I follow them on Instagram. I will link to it in the description. They sent me a sealed, boxed, Japanese version of Metal Mutants Michelangelo. Mutant Turtles! If you don't know, uh, these were released 
in Japan. They came in these boxes with this amazing artwork. Uh, the US versions just came on regular blister cards. This is amazing. Now, the box is definitely sun faded, but I don't care because now I, I have two. <laughs> I have a loose one that is likely all from American pieces, US release parts, and I have this sealed Japanese version. This is incredible. I just seriously can't believe it. Guys, I just, I can't stress enough how much this means to me that you have all enjoyed this toy hunting series so much and that you all saw opportunities to help me out. And I wanna pay that back because along the way, I obviously accumulated a few extra pieces uh, between at least one of the gifts I was given and the parts that my wife bought for me on eBay. And I know there's people out there who probably also wanna complete their Metal Mutants Michelangelo. So I am gonna do my best to track some of those people down, likely using some of the Ninja Turtles groups online, uh, cause I wanna make sure that those go to people who also need them. I want to thank all of you for joining me on this journey. This was an amazing, amazing time. It was so fun kind of stringing together this narrative through my toy hunts of trying to track it down and watching you all interact to it uh, and trying to like help me out. I think it's so cool. You know, I've been doing this for a long time and it never ceases to amaze me just how amazing. It never ceases to amaze me how amazing. Yeah, that works, how amazing each and every one of you are. So thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Metal Mutants Michelangelo is now complete. And I guess that means I now have to set a new goal so that uh, you guys will keep watching the toy hunting videos. <laughs> Thank you guys so much again for joining me on the toy hunts and thank you for watching this video. This was a very special one for me to put together. Uh, I wanna give a very special thanks to all of my Patreons who support my content. You guys are amazing, thank you so much. And of course, massive shout out to everybody who donated to help me complete Metal Mutants Michelangelo. Certainly not something you had to do, so it is 100% appreciated, trust me. And to all of you who keep watching, commenting, subscribing, liking the videos, thank you so much. You're all amazing. Until next time, my friends.